Uh, I'm Grant McKenzie with, with Our Place Society, um, one of the directors here. I just want to thank everybody for, for showing up today to, to mark this um, difficult day. Um, the latest stats that came out showed that six people in BC die every single day from toxic drugs. Uh, and that's six people too many. Um, I'm always amazed at the amount of death that we see here at our place and how resilient the staff and our volunteers are in dealing with what they are, the compassion and the empathy that they show every single day to every single person is just incredible. It makes me proud every single day to, to work for this organization and to work with the people that I work with. Um, I also think it's fantastic when we get the support of our local MP and our local MLA and our local city council that they come to support us in this, this challenging work. Um, MLA Grace Lower, the Ministry of Children is so important for, as a pathway for us to end this epidemic, to work with our children, to give them healthy lives so that they don't end up living on the street, so they don't end up in addiction. Um, we have challenges every day, but I also want to end this by saying there's also hope. As Lee said when she came up, those 110 men went through new roads in the last year. And we saw, we see every day some incredible results for men who are going through recovery, who are reconnecting with their family, reconnecting with their community, and rediscovering that joy in their life. And that's, I was at, actually I was just interviewing um, a graduate of New Roads the other day there, Ryan, and he was telling me that how he used to be on the streets here and how he never saw any happiness, he never saw any joy, he just saw survival. And now that he's sober, he's got the tools to stay sober, he's seeing these episodes of joy, these episodes of happiness. And that's the ultimate goal. That's exactly why we're here, to try and give everybody that. So I want to thank everybody for coming down to Mark this day, and uh, I'm incredibly proud of everyone who's doing this hard work. And I'm hoping that this death rate will continue to fall um, until it hits you. Thank you all.